35 mil on exactly the same letter. The Danish Girl came about because I read this script and fell in love with Lily Elba's story. Hello there. <laughs> Lily was a transgender pioneer in the 1920s. She was living for many years as a man, as Ina Vena, and the film follows this incredible marriage, which created this sort of amazing loving space in which this transition was possible. Roll cameras, please. Action. We knew when we went to Tom that he could really get at a story that is about love, a story that is about transcendence of love beyond gender. Background action! And he's such a great director visually. He shot the world of this film so beautifully. I felt the aesthetic of beauty was kind of central to the way these artists saw the world. I know I was fascinated by the beauty of landscape. Gerda was very driven by female beauty and, and the capturing of beauty on the canvas. So I kind of wanted to honor that in the way that I, I went about it. I got very inspired by the paintings of Hammershoy, who's a wonderful Danish artist. So we decided to build a, a replica of Hammershoy's apartment based on the paintings. I threw Danny Cohen the challenge of lighting the film in the style of these wonderful paintings and trying to capture this incredible softness of the light you get in these long, extended summer evenings in the north. And it has that very Danish sort of grey-blue muted colour scheme. And I liked seeing Lily in this rather bare colour palette where you can kind of imagine why she needs to escape this rather austere world. The extraordinary thing with Tom is he has such a minute knowledge of every single piece of information. There is a rigor to the way he works, and yet he relies entirely on instincts. It's all about how it feels and how it plays. He's so alive. He sees everything. He has an attention for everything, and his attention comes from passion, and passion is a form of love. Tom has that emotional intelligence to treat a subject and their journey with the biggest delicacy and sensitivity. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. We live in quite a cynical time, and there's something rather beautiful going back to this story in the 20s and see this kind of love that's, that's so unbelievably giving. And that love is the great kind of force in this incredibly moving story.